Aloha dudes and dudettes and welcome back to my channel Today we are going to be playing Tales Noir part 2 or I guess the full game because I have played the Prologue on my channel. I will link that down below I will also play a title card on the screen so that you guys are able to go and watch that first because I will not be playing the prologue in this Version I will probably just play through it and then I will pick up from where we last left off But I'm super excited because the game was $4.99 on Steam. I will link the link down below so it was on sale because i think usually it's like 15.99 so it was definitely on sale um for 4.99 so i decided to just grab it and play it because i really really wanted to play it and i'm really excited also i would be playing the sims right now but they just came up with a new patch and all my mods are broken and i cannot play the sims 4 without mods um please make sure you comment a um a surf surfing emoji down below if you also cannot play the sims 4 without mods so, I am not going to be playing The Sims 4 for a while because I am dreaded to open my game and to update my mods folder. Literally crying, screaming, throwing up. <laughs> so, we're going to be playing Tales Noir and getting right into it. Okay, I will see you guys in a second right after the prologue because I can continue into the prologue. So, I will see you guys after the prologue. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the last place that we stopped. As you can see, our main character, our detective raccoon, I think his name is Wallace, but I think that's also the fake name that he gave. He has just discovered the otter's body dead, and he's thrown up in the alley because obviously he just saw a cold, dead body. So we are back to the, we are starting act one, oh, actually act two. I completed Act 1. Act 2, Connection. Oh my gosh, I'm literally so, so, so excited. Okay. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh my gosh, guys, it'd be like a, like a thing if they were like certain people's bodies. Um, I should tell the police. What am I going to tell Odette? Oh my god, what are we going to tell Odette? Are we tell her husband's dead? Like, drag it out so that I'm still looking for him. No, oh my god, guys, what do we do? The truth might be too harsh for her, but if we tell her that he ran off with someone, we don't have any proof. Uh, oh my god, okay. Oh my god, guys, what do we do? Ah! I'll call her and wing it. <laughs> guys, do we call her and wing it? Do we call her and wing it? Can you just been in the wrong place at the wrong time? In any case, what could you do to start being butchered? What if he's not the first? Impossible to know for sure. You have a duty. It's your chance to do something meaningful. Less time ago. I also don't want to die. I'm finding this one. No one will get it anyway. I have to wing it myself, like always. Oh my god! This might be the post in character case, but it's worth the risk. Is it going? What would I even tell them? Um. Yeah, I don't want to answer it. They asked me, so please turn out of the question. I'm useless. Why me? Fuck this. Why are you drinking up? I forget about it. I just want this day to be over. Dude, now he's going to start drinking. No, I wonder if I chose the wrong things. He has to help. You have to help. How uh, would you have to help? Oh my gosh, my hands are like super like rough. I took a shower before I started recording. So now I'm like... Oh good, you finally got your, your ass up burning park oh we can like figure with their tail chopped off weird 
The Great Fire was before my parents' time. Burned up bridges, whole districts, destroyed in the war. Shit, maybe we deserve to burn. What do these symbols mean? They look deliberate, not just mindless vandalism. Okay, well, remember them. Okay. Well, I can't see when your thing's over. Okay. It's like like a fence, a circle, and a pot is what I'm going to call it. A fence, a circle, and a pot. Guys, help me remember that. A fence, a circle, and a pot. Looney. Why you got any more? Rough night. That's mean. Wow, that bad, huh? That bad. Whatever happened, you may as well make your peace with it, I guess. You don't know what you're talking about. Peace? Society's rotting from the inside. I always have been in. Eh? Welcome to the club, I guess. I don't want to be in your club. Sure, as long as you can take it nice and easy. You got a calm spot going here. My name's High, by the way. Hmm. Yeah, I seen them. Those are street symbols, not drawn by me, mind you. You know what they mean? More or less, most of them are dumb tags, simple messages. Sure, it helps us look out for each other. Get yourself a tent, spend a few weeks on the street, and maybe. What do the black ones mean? That's, it's not safe here, and you better watch yourself. Not sure about the stick figure with no tail. Might be some cult shit. No, I wouldn't be them. I think someone less dangerous, but more religious. Almighty shepherd deniers, perhaps. Hmm. I don't want to get into it, friend. I got today to deal with you. Yeah. I hear that. Mine's Looney. Pleasure to meet you. Got injured at work. They let me go. Worked at the big print works down in Gaston. Gastown or Gaston? Gas. It doesn't say Gaston. I'm slow. It says Gastown. Listen, friend. I was trying to use a cheap trick. Better get out before it makes you a complete sucker. I can trick it right back. I will. Watch me. <laughs> well, he was nice. I liked him. He's like a bunny, I think. You know, this is giving me um, Zootopia vibes, but like deep, dark, sinister Zootopia vibes. Like, it, I feel like in another world, Zootopia could be this like in another timeline you know oh i did not read that so hmm they're using lilac there's a guy just standing there being a creep he's falling oh my god <laughs> guys i was gonna keep walking but then he was like following me so i was like oh look, i'm gonna stop and i shouldn't have stopped oh my gosh <laughs> Hello, it's been a long night. Where do you get that coat? It's like a lady coat, you pretty little lady. There's one friendly judge and loans for your new friends. Plenty, just not for you. You think we're scared of cops? You lie. Better to be honest. Honesty takes you places. Oh my gosh, what? Yeah, like here, maybe I'll quit being honest. What? I'm so. Oh my god. Yeah, like here, maybe I'll quit being honest. Quit stalling because what do you think I'm stupid? Do you think we're stupid? <laughs> what? No, I'm going to figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> uh, what? Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm being robbed at gun. I mean, not at gunpoint, but I'm being robbed by rats. Get fucked. Are you going to fight? No. Are we going to die? Oh, he spit on me. Did they take anything? Am I dead? What's happening? I know you guys probably have no idea because you were in the same. Oh my god, this is one of the main characters. Hold on, I gotta take a screenshot. Yes. Okay. That's one of the new characters. For being one of the new characters that's on the like that's on the main thing. So that's nice. That's fun. That's nice. Why do I feel like I've been here before? Is this part of the prologue? I gotta go watch my own video back because now that I'm like here, I'm like, was this part of the prologue? I don't really think it was, but I could have been wrong. What's your name again? Are you sure no one followed? I'm sure. Let's talk. What about? All right, let me get things started. Go right ahead. Oh, she's researching the person that kicked us out of the club and is behind all that killing people stuff. 
maybe the most unofficial power person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, high profile, vis visitors to the bite, and more. You could say that. I never talked to her directly, though, and you have. What you like up close? Um, smart. You can see right through me. Yeah, that's my impression, too. She wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions. Do you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influence guys have been seen there. I'm talking top banker, senior. I've been up there. Guessing you weren't invited. Especially monkey butt. We knew that. City your version turning up the streets. Potent. Potent how? The pure version. Okay. Myself, as for funding, there's a guy, a rich, important asshole. It's ego trips for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. When the time is right, especially when someone really needs telling. Only the bad guys. The book I'm writing is about power and influence. How they work, how you get them. My end goal is to assume who really holds the most influence in the city. People can't remake society. Yeah? <laughs> I left the bike just after you got kicked out. I didn't see Renee there. Little sly little fox. Yeah, it's pretty hot under the collar. Anyways, I stacked up the back alley just in case. 20 minutes later, bingo, a puking raccoon. Glad you enjoyed the show. <laughs> then I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. Hope it was worth it. That's up to you. Why am I here? First, I want you to trust me like I trusted you now. What did you find at the bite? You know what? I think I should get home. Okay, guys. I'm someone who kind of blindly trusts people. LOL. It's really a flaw that I should really get figured out. But as I'm reading this, I'm like, I feel like we should trust her. Like, what else are we going to do? Go home and do it on our own? We were literally just talking about in the park how we couldn't do it. Like, we were like, oh, what are we going to do? Like, we don't know what to do. So we're going to trust her. We're going to do it. We're going to trust her. Wouldn't it feel nice to share that burden with somebody? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'm mean, would it be nice? I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? It's a long story. What led you to the bite in the first place? I was looking for someone. What's the case? Just track some photos? Hmm, why? What's his deal? Doesn't matter. He's a piece of shit cheating on his pregnant. Is she pregnant? Did we figure that out? I don't think we figured that out. Actually, we weren't, we weren't sure. We think he's cheating, but hmm. What where in the bite's basement? They're cutting my target up into pieces. What the fuck? I saw boxes of flesh. It wasn't just one body. Are you fucking joking? Um, this was cutting up. Yes. I wouldn't put killing people past her, but this? Why? How the fuck would I know? I thought you were a detective. Never mind. Okay, wow. We was an off night for you. What are you going to do then? Die, probably. Exactly. That's what our plan. Since when is it our plan? Since I followed you through that city all night and rescued your soggy ass from a puddle. I have a proposition. What is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. Work with me. Let's find the truth about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. She is. What could we do? I never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something that I couldn't, and you, and you owe me one. I don't owe you anything. Well, I'm going to trust her. This might be, this might get us into a shit show later, but I'm a truster. Teamwork. Also, I'll pay you. Mmm. Uh, a part that could be nice. My smarts, your stubbornness, dream team. You're right. Okay. Now tea time. Mind brewing some? I'm, but I'm the guest. You do it. I'm the mastermind pulling the strings. Get brewing. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. Also, completely off key but do you guys remember the the story um the wolf among us i watched a playthrough of it i think yeah i watched a playthrough of it a while ago and it's supposed to be like a part two like it was like his whole story is there actually gonna be a part two to that if you know please let me know now in the comments because i would love to play that because i watched the playthrough of it and it's been a while but it was super 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 good story so i really want to get back into into that i don't know maybe i'm gonna like get away from like you know that kind of stuff and do more like steam games and like scary games whatever you know just kind of play around you know all that kind of stuff obviously i'll still do sims content even though right now i barely do sims content and with them updating these new things every day oh, y'all i just cannot do it i just can't do it um i feel like she like green minty tea refreshing clean renee is pretty cool it's been a while since i met someone like her oh first try you had to clear your walls down and trust renee from the start oh 
Like whom exactly? Um, I don't know. She seems curious, smart, and kind. It's nice to have someone like that around. Put on the kettle. Y'all, why do I feel like because they have that achievement, y'all just saw in the corner. Why do I feel like with that achievement, there's another one where like you don't trust her from the start and then she ends up like you end up trusting her later down the road? Or you trust her from the start and then she screws you over. I guess we're gonna find out. If I end up on somebody's dead body, I know why. You just moved in. No, oh, she's not speaking. We're just kinda we're brewing some tea we're brewing the tea oh wait she was talking to us and i literally didn't even she was literally talking no good investigator should be without one okay well girl okay i gotta talk to you window where are we docks not the most picturesque part of the city but at least it's hard to find yeah i guess i guess that's true guess that's true turn the kettle off I'm about to throw up again what are you doing you're just taking deep breaths in and out period oh he's pouring this is such a pretty picturesque scene right here. It's giving, it's giving dad raccoon. It's giving, it's giving my wife. That's what it's giving. Don't burn your tongue. Renee, I do know how to drink tea. <laughs> so the case, we need to figure out what happens to that flesh. Did you see the Starling cider delivery truck in the back alley? Yeah, and I had to dig around. You thinking what I'm thinking? Um, that's the glass one would be nice right now. <laughs> He's a sarcastic little, little shitty raccoon. Right. Where are you going with this? What if I told you it's not a real Starling cider van? You bother, make, you bother making a fake? What if you told me why? I've seen it a few times while researching the bite. It's a good fake that you can tell up close. I try, but I'm the expert at telling stuff. I'm a writer, not a fighter. Well, luckily there are people who can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it delivers to somewhere in Gastown. Hmm. No more like streeties and teenagers with too much time on their hands. I have a little network of friends. They didn't see the exact delivery location? No, my informant tracked it to the main commercial block, then lost it, but I figured out that he spends the night in the Bayou Alley before going to the gas town the next day. So it'll be in gas town tomorrow. Yep, you should figure out exactly where it delivers and investigate. We have to learn where that flesh goes. Mmm. Look for where Starling is stocked. It's a fake truck, but the right place will probably still sell it to avoid suspicion. Hmm, thank you. It's a needle in a haystack, but that's all we have for now. Has to be done. The only thing to fear is fear itself. You can do this. You already comp compromised your safety. What's the point in stopping now? You got nothing to lose. Fine, I have to call a day. Whoever that is, go ahead. The phone is right there. Arrange a taxi to gas down while you're at it. Oh my gosh, guys. We have to call her. And what are we going to tell her? I guess we should call her dad. gosh guys i shouldn't have called her what do we do this is literally she's not gonna believe us if we tell him that he's dead what will happen you must tell me i'm still his wife i'm sorry he was, uh, you should call the police i'm so sorry you're dead. oh oh shepherd is he not coming back Wait, oh my gosh, guys, I feel like that was the wrong thing to do. Oh no, I'm scared. You don't call for, for weeks and you check in at 5 a.m. What work? Do you need money? Sure, a job. I just worry about you. What do you need then? I don't need anything. I'm fine. Well, now that you're here, maybe you can help me. I keep seeing these damn bars under the bed. Huge, I'm not panicking, but where are they coming from? You should take a look at for me because I won't call her don't worry. Be always but you always are. It's fine. Luckily, I still have your father around to take care of your old loving mother. Mom, I love you. Oh, how I love you too. Don't skip breakfast and stop smoking. Bye bye, baby. Oh Howie. For you always what's hanging hot? It's pear or peach and what was I saying? You bet how and told the dynamic duo of detective boy partners. You did big you the boss, big day pay. I'll wear a tiny hat if you want. You at your place? No, one second. Tell 
tell you later. Can't wait. Gotta run. Guys. Oh my god, guys. I feel like we should not have told her the way that we told her. Now I feel shitty. I feel like we should have just like told her that we still were looking. Fuck. Now I'm mad because I feel like we should have told her that we were still looking. Ugh. Now I'm mad. Okay, so start with the truck. Find him where it's going. Call me during and after. I'll write you my number in a minute. Also, who's Odette? Odette is my client. Elaborate. The one that hired me to the guy I found out in the bite, her husband. Oh, poor woman. I'm not sure I handled that well. You did not, but that's okay. We all deal with grief in different ways. Our goal is to confirm that it's smuggling flesh out of the bite and to where or to whom. Anything you learn, report to me. Got it. You can stay here for as long as you want. The place is my little secret. I'll go home now and meet you back here later tonight. Sure, speak to you later. Bye, Howard. Be careful out there. Oh my gosh, she's fancy. She's a fancy little fox. A fancy, fancy little fox. Okay, period. We love fancy, fancy little fox. Okay, poor girl. Do your thing. Oh my god, stop. Uh, this is so freaking cute. <laughs> oh my god, that's the guy that we met outside the, the thing, our friend. I love him. He was so nice. <laughs> Here we are, Gastown, Shepherd on what a spooky place. Maybe if I sold my kidney. Well, you can go on and bother, folks, and I'm going to get some quality and totally chill time. When's your truck coming? Soon, I hope. I'll be here before you know it. Bring me a magazine or paper while you're at it. Thanks. It's so hot and I'm so lazy. You're telling me. Gas town. Gas town. We're in gas town. Okay. I'm going to stop being at that now. Okay. Guys, okay. Part of me feels like I know we literally just started this playthrough and I've only been playing for like 20 minutes. But part of me is like... Do I stop it right here? Or no? Okay, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. It's pointless to stop right here when I've only been recording for like 20 minutes. And part of those minutes were um, the prologue. So, I mean, I didn't take me 20 minutes to complete. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> we're in a liquor store. Of course. Sorry, sir. I'm waiting on a delivery. Could you come back later? Do you still silent start? Please come back there. I have to close the shop. Uh, no, sir. I have to talk to you. Ooh, that sounds good right now. I need to have breakfast. Okay, he's just giving us random ass facts. Oh my gosh. I should have asked him. I wonder if we go back in and he'll like open it up for us. Ah, oh, no, he's still not talking. He's getting a delivery, so maybe we'll have to go around back. Oh, bookshop. He doesn't say this person that kind of reads, though. So. Welcome to Poochie's Reads. <laughs> oh, my God. It should be called Pookie's Reads. Pookie. I'm chronically online, so, you know. Welcome to Poochie's Reads. Buy some books, please. They're good for you. Oh, you got these things. Um, what can you tell me about the local area? I'm a bookseller, not a tourist guy, but we do have the Gourmet's Galvin around Gastown if you're interested. Now, this is not spicy enough for me. Thanks. Ha, well put. I've been running from this store for 12 years. Took over from my mama. Shepherd bless her memory. It's not a shelf organizing system. Enough to keep me in business. Not enough to wake up and realize how low society is falling. To say nothing of standards in literature. I like books. They're easily pleased and always welcome here. Sure, this is a bookshop. What are you in the market for? Um, ah, yes, our glorious leaders whose treatise I mandated the stock. Obviously, I have plentiful copies of the Ape Codex right here. Eh, I hate when people ask me that question. Do you own research? Do you love your own taste? Yes, forgive my outburst. I'm sure you're genuinely curious. But most folks just consume a mindless diet of cultural... Whatever that word is. Recently, love's in the air and kill me if you can. Oh, and a fascinating little book about the philosophy of lock picking. Hmm. Ooh, that could be helpful. It starts by explaining the fundamentals of how locks work and what we can learn about life from them, but of course it goes deeper. 
first you need tube tools, both long and thin. You start by creating some pressure on the cylinder of the lock with your friend. Then you have to figure out which of the pins is seized and pry it with your main tool until it clicks. Thank you. No, I mean you told me the good parts already. You, please tell me you have another book in mind. Do we want to buy a book though? Okay, yeah. I'm like, we don't need to buy a book. He told us the good part about what you call. We don't need to buy a book. We don't need to buy a book. But he was super nice though. I fucked with him. He was full. He was cool. Yeah, I'm on my smoke break. Need some company? The company of a complete stranger? Wonderful. Mmm. So what's up? Guess who wouldn't kill me to make some mall talk once in a while? What are the locals like? They're all assholes. Because they live here. You own this place? Yeah, I've been here for a couple of years now. How are you liking it? The rent here is so steep, I'd be cheaper in West End, but half the folk there don't even have a stable supply of juice. Yeah, I just does let my head in. I'm selling fancy new color light bulbs while half the population rely on candles. Doubt it. It is what it is. Make rent, make stuff, help others do the same. My motto, one day. The world could end tomorrow and there's nothing you could do. Ever think about that? Yeah, brings a person down. You know where you can stand with the lectures and like everything else in this life. What makes it? What make is it? Oh, an ancient artifact. Bring it in. I'll see what I can do. Yep. Well, he's nice, and he's gonna fix our computer. He's gonna fix our. He's gonna fix our thing. Deli shop. Welcome. Can I interest you in some honey nut glazed apple sticks? Why does that sound bomb right now? Sure, we got regular red berry and pear. I've got plenty of each in stock. Why do you ask? What you see is what you get. It's all quality produce. Well, I did finally get a new shipment of tomatoes and dry onions. Um, finally? It's been unseasonably cold. Slow down the growth of lots of the crops at the greenery. The apes are taking care of it, they say. Right, news about suboptimal agricultural output really makes the front page. Hmm? Is your store doing okay? Might be a tough couple of months, what I can I say? Oh. Surely do. Three, lo three loans for a pack of ten. Do we need cigarettes? Wait, why do I feel like I'm going to need these? Okay, wait. Mmm. Mmm, I feel okay. I feel like we can come back if we really need them because I feel like they wouldn't have that option if we didn't need it why do I feel like everything that we've seen so far we're gonna need you know what I mean like we're gonna meet someone and they're gonna want a smoke of cigarette they're gonna want a pack of cigarettes to sell some information or a book they're gonna be like I like to read and my other book got like thrown in the fire or something oh my what a magnificent snout my boy you've got a bone structure of many kinds can only dream of uh thanks of course mmm uh, look at what? Could you bear your teeth like so? Say or are. Why? Your kind of has a lower than average IQ. What? <laughs> we have to know what everyone's her. Okay, sure. Fascinating. No sign of overbite. Slight concave curve to the canines. The yelling at the base of the tip, but not too pale. What? Wow. What kind of science is this? Um, I'll look it up. Thanks. That was freaking weird. <laughs> freaking weird. Get your papers. Is that you, Bo? No, I'm Mo. Who's Bo? Huh. Nonsense. I'm the unique. It's funny and very local. Want to hear a joke? Sure. Pickaboo. Um, that's wild. Nope, I got a better thing to do than count cars. I got nothing to sell. The pigeons are getting crazy. Somebody's going to poison the bastard, I'm telling you, or we're going to have geezer plague part two on our hands. Not for me, though. 
You want news, crosswords, or got a little something, something for grown ups? It's a coloring book that has suggestive things to color in. Perfectly legal. Uh, what's paper headline? Grand Shepherd Temple opening schedule for the annual eight day parade. Only got the ones for Katie's left. Um, I'll buy a paper. Here you go. Bye. Well, at least we bought. Oh my gosh! The Sterling Cider! And it was at the liquor store that we went to at first because it's right next to the library that we went into called Poochie's. Oh my god, guys. Okay. I don't know why I'm going this way because I'm no shops for the van that way. Okay, perfect. I should tell you We're running as fast as we can. I'm running as fast as we can. I'm running as fast as I can. Looks official to me. Impressive. Liquor shop. I don't know if it could. All done, Grandpa. See you next week. Is she just staring at us or what? Um. I'm afraid I'm not looking to take on any employees right now, sir, but I'm flattered by your I have a job. Oh, a salesman. I'm looking for new suppliers either, I'm afraid. Oh, just boring old Starling Ciders. Nothing special, but you know that people want what they want. Oh, okay, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I'd have to uh, take inventory and uh, there's bookkeeping. Sure, this is my shop. I won't be harangued. I don't want to be harangued like this in my own shop. Now, please watch something or leave immediately. Wait, there's nothing. But if, I, if it will make you happy and leave me alone, I have heard... Oh, oh my god, okay. Where are you buying those where are you buying those crates from? Um you ever met her? No gosh, she's not the person you just run into. She's my usual wholesale supplier. Mm. No no no. I told you never I just I like to share my own bruise, that's all. Sir, please, I don't know what you want to hear, but the shop is my life. Talk about what? You wouldn't understand. I mean, if there was something. And, and what? Even if my vision is unique, it's not fair. You have no idea. I suppose you find a way into the storage room after I drop this key. Period. <laughs> we love a good man. We love a good man. I'm not really quite sure what that was or like what his like dealio is, but it's closed wooden crate. There's a faded starting on the side. Cheap wood with flat lid. The lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it. Uh punch the lid. But it barely notices with the lid to pop out of just making but your body recently. Beneath the lid area are a number of small packages. You feel back like a real meat square flesh. The flesh is light pink with the strata texture. I can't do this. I can't believe that they're smuggling flesh in here. So you saw it. I really genuinely wish I could believe you. You think I don't know what fish smells like? Uh, so does smell as fishy as you think. Only recently. I was told not to look, but I had to know. If only I had, then I could just pretend. But but if she finds out I told her when I'll get thrown over the wall, you understand? If you tell a soul, I'm worse than dead. I didn't have a choice. Fate has conspired against me. No, I did not. You never understand. Go on. Do whatever you want. I don't care. It's just why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. Just worked hard and paid our taxes. It's the damn city's fault. Why isn't her medicine free? Miss Butler's keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. I even thought about selling the shop, but the loons wouldn't have lasted. Of course. Miss Butler may not be gentle, but she has a heart and she hears everything.
Nothing. I just still got after them until they are redelivered. A woman calls, asks for the usual. I get one of the boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. Her name is Bajwa. That's all I can tell you, sir. I write down the address for you. It's my head of butter. Here's this. I don't think you can. Just please swear you won't tell anyone about this. I can't live in fear. Thank you, Shepherd guides you. I think it's time you left, sir. Tell Joey I took a crate over a few days ago. She's expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. I, you can't. They'll suspect. And if he gets back to me, Leah... Take them on the house. You did your best to reassure Lewis. Oh my gosh. So I guess in other words, we could like blackmail him and be and like yell at him and like tell him. But we were very like understanding and stuff. Okay, guys. I know that we are still on act one and I want to finish act one, but I don't know how long it is. And I also kind of leave you guys on a little bit of a click hanger since we found out a little bit more information about Clarissa and the bite and exactly what they're doing. So we're going to split this up into two parts. We're going to split this up into two, two parts um, because I am excited to get to finishing. So I'll leave you guys on a cliffhanger. And if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, do all those funky YouTube things. And make sure you come join the Way family. We're all pretty cool over here. And I will link my Discord down below. Please come join my Discord where I talk about the same, we talk about other games, we chat, we do whatever, we just chill. And we have a great time over there. So I will see you guys all in the next video. Mwah. Bye guys.